The Shanika Chronicles Part 1. Now your girl, I got a Ford Explorer for you. It's not really a 1997, it's a 1985. And it's not really a Ford Explorer, it's a Ford Bronco. But it's like the same thing. Here are the specs, if you're interested. 200,000 miles. Transmission is in good shape. Fifth gear and reverse work, but the rest don't. The V6 engine was replaced with a V8. Gas mileage is pretty good. I got about 12 miles per gallon highway the other day, but that was with premium power windows, but you have to turn the crank to roll them down. Tape player. It does play, but there is a Def Leppard tape jam in there and it won't come out. Great for Def Leppard fans. I am a smoker, so you can smell it in the car, but it'll throw in an air freshener for an extra 10 bucks. It came with front airbag, but it deployed in my last accident and I didn't get it replaced. Broncos are safe though, so you won't have to worry about an airbag. The air conditioning does not work anymore, but it used to and was really cold. Heat works if you drive the car for a while. The frame is bent due to an accident with a tractor trailer, but as long as you don't drive over 40, you shouldn't have any problems. It can seat five, which is good for kids, but the back seat has beer and urine stains. They have been professionally treated with Windex. The rear window is missing, but it has been repaired with sarin wrap. You will need to have some minor repairs done. New brakes. The rear axle is missing. Needs a new radiator and coolant system. I spoke to my friend who knows a lot about cars and he said it shouldn't cost more than a few bucks. I'm asking for $7,500 but I'm willing to negotiate. Let me know what you think. Ted Shanko said, no thanks. That's not what I'm looking for. It's too old and not even the right type of four. Have a nice day. Then Ted responded with, I'm willing to drop the price to $7,000 and throw in a Phil Collins cassette tape for the tape player. Even though it may seem old, it still runs like it was OJ's Bronco. And don't worry about it not being an explorer. All fours are built for a tough. Shanika said, I don't think that you read my ad. I don't have $7,000 to spend on a truck, much less a damn 1985 Bronco. You should be willing to give that old ass piece of shit away. Go away and leave me the hell alone. Stop wasting my time. Ted says, I see you are a tough negotiator. My final offer is $6,900, and I'll include a floor mat from my 1983 Cutlass Supreme. This floor mat is brown with several stains and cigarette burns, but it will keep the beautiful Bronco interior very clean. Please consider this generous offer. Shannon was said, we need to add 1500 that's it. I don't want your damn Ford Bronco. Ted says, okay. I can see that this luxurious Bronco is out of your price range. That is okay. I have a cheaper car that you may be interested in. It is a 1996 Geo Metro. Almost exactly the same as a Ford Explorer. When looking at the two, I personally can't even tell the difference. It was my son's car, but he lost his license after his third DUI. So now I'm stuck with it. I have no use for it though, and would be willing to sell it to you for $1,550. Its features, 246,000 highway miles, AM radio, Wait for traffic reports in Radio Disney. Three great tires from Walmart. They still have about 200 miles worth of tread on them. Partially functional transmission. Reverse does not work. But you don't really need that anyway. Due to a wheel alignment problem, the car can only turn right. But with power steering, it makes turning right easy. Three right turns can make a left. No title. Currently needs brakes, exhaust, cat converter, a front wheel and rotor, and a motor to pass inspection. But as long as you don't get pulled over, who cares about inspection? The paint is a metallic rust red. Some of the spots have rusted through, but I covered it up with duct tape and spray paint. Looks good as new. Comes with a club, a state-of-the-art anti-theft device. But I lost the key to it, so it's stuck on the steering wheel. Great for leaving your car in West Philly. The gas tank currently leaks gas. So miles per gallon is around 6 or 7 depending on how fast you drive. You just need to keep plugging the hole with gum. At that price, this car is a deal. Let me know what you think. Shannon was saying, you are an asshole. Go away, go away, go away. Get the fuck out of my face. Ted says, so you don't want the deal. You're missing out on a dream car. Tell you what, for that price, I will also include three old Newsweek magazines, a used toaster, and an old Philadelphia Eagles number 81 Terrell Owens jersey. Shannon didn't respond. The Shannon Chronicles Part 2 this time Ryan contacts Shaniqua about her looking for Ford Explorer. Hey there, I saw your ad and I think I have the perfect car for you. I'm selling my 2001 Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer Edition. It is a great car and I hate to see it go. 
but I need the money to pay off my second DUI fines. Only 72,000 miles. Here are the features. CD player intact windshield rear tires, spare tire new windshield wipers, beautiful white exterior paint, cloth interior. It was in a very minor fender bender, however, and will need a few repairs. As you can see from the picture, you may need to replace the passenger side mirror and headlights in order for the car to pass PA inspection. I took it to a mechanic, and he said that the mirror is fixable. I was selling the car for $1,800, but due to these minor issues, I will drop the price to $1,750. Thanks, Ryan. Shanika replied with, I am sorry. I can't afford to buy your truck. It looks really nice and I would love to be behind the wheel of it, but I can't afford it. My budget will only allow for me to spend $1,500. Sorry, Ryan says. Tell you what. I'll bump the price down to $1,500, but I get to keep the CD player and the passenger seat, and I will clear all of the change out of my ashtray. This car is a great deal. I've included a picture. Check it out and please reconsider. Shannon was saying, why would I want to buy a piece of junk? Why? That is all for part two. The Shannon Chronicles part three. I saw your add-on. Redacted, and I think I have a great car for you. I'm selling my 1996 Ford Explorer. I used to work in the film industry, and I got this car after it was used in a movie. It has a custom paint job from the movie set. I barely drive it, so it has only around 60,000 miles on it. I really have no use for it anymore, so I'm willing to get rid of it. Take a look at it and let me know what you think. I've attached a few pictures of it. Please note that it did have a minor accident involving an animal and may have slight damage. Thanks. Shanika responded, Sir, I thank you for trying to help, but I don't want to drive the truck from the dinosaur movie. I wouldn't mind if I had money to get it painted over, but I don't. Thanks anyway. He responded, I always believe that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, and you shouldn't judge this car by its paint job. It has a great engine that will not quit. From the inside, you can't even tell it is painted like that. This car is reliable and will not be going extinct anytime soon. Shanikor responded with, no thanks. He said, tell you what, for an extra 50 bucks, I will spray paint the entire car flat black. I took an art class in high school, so I have some experience painting and it will look great. Shanikor said, no thanks. When you get a shiny blue or black one, let me know. He said, here's what I'm willing to do. For $60, I will spray paint the entire car black and then cover it with scotch tape so it is shiny. I also throw in a VHS of Jurassic Park I taped off of TBS five years ago. Includes many classic retro commercials that you don't see on TV anymore. A collector's gold mine. Shannon was said, no thanks, try someone else. I already made a deal with someone else and they will be bringing me the truck tomorrow morning. He said, wait, before you make that deal, check out the new repainted Explorer. I repainted it a nice shiny blue. Please check out the picture and reconsider. Shannon didn't respond.